Good morning. Welcome to uh, Your Theme Thursday. It is Thursday today. So it's your theme today. Uh, it is June the 4th. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning. Hope you're all okay. I'm feeling good. I Ah, oh, hello there. How are you? <laughs> um, just in case you don't know, because I say this every single time. My name is Karen. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm here with Get Moving. And Get Moving is all about helping people well, get moving is kind of obvious, really. Um, but people who have disabilities, people who have injuries, uh, mobility issues, uh, chronic medical conditions, anything that stops people from moving as well as they hope, Get Moving is here to help you improve. Uh, the more we move, the stronger and fitter we get and the more that we can handle uh, the condition that we are living with. Uh, things are going to be difficult in our lives. Being fitter and stronger is going to help us be more resilient and help us deal with these things that are happening in our lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what Get Moving is all about. And we are here every weekday at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and so thank you for joining in. Um, so it is your theme Thursday today. And the theme today at the end is going to be steps. OK, going up and going down steps. Confidence and ways to progress to doing them, to being uh, more confident at doing them and being better, being better able to go upstairs and go downstairs. Um, so the, the last bit, we will go over something like that. In the meantime, though, just before we start, uh, don't forget, as always, um, up above my head, there's a link to the Get Moving website that has got the, um, the questionnaire. Uh, I need your help. Yes, you specifically. I need your help to figure out how we're going to make this Get Moving uh, sessions online uh, carry on in the future now that the lockdown is starting to ease. Um, I'm starting to get a bit busier and, and so I want you to tell me what you find most useful about it, what you benefit from most from it, uh, so I can try and make sure that keeps going as best we can. So if you have not, I know loads of you have, so thank you very much, uh, but if you have not yet filled in the questionnaire, up above my head there, the link to the Get, Get Moving website. Click on that, uh, fill it in for me, please. Thank you very much. It'll be up there for the, till the end of the week. And of course, also, down there somewhere there's a share button. I know some of you shared it already, but not everyone has. If you haven't yet, why not? Why on earth not? Why haven't you shared it to the absolute extremes of the planet? Why is it there are people in the Sahara Desert who has not got it yet? I blame you personally. I mean, I'm, I'm shouting loud here, but I'm blaming you for not sharing it to the middle of the Sahara Desert. I mean, it's not a lot to ask, surely. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe it is. Anyway, <clears throat> let's make a start then, shall we? Um, oh, quick shout out. Tony. Hello, Tony. How are you? I uh, had a chat with Lynn yesterday. Um, what can I say? Tony apparently likes just looking at me. It's very flattering. Thank, thank, thank you very much, Tony. Thank you. Very, very sweet. Thank you very much. I don't, I don't blame you. But why weren't you doing the exercise? Look at me if you want, by all means. Who, everyone wants to. But you've got to do the exercises as well. Come on. Anyway, let's make a start then. So uh, these exercises are suitable for pretty much everybody, whether you are in a chair or whether you can stand or whatever. We have people who are stroke survivors who do this. We have people with MS, Parkinson's, amputees. We have a whole gamut of people doing these exercises you can do them as well the first one is going to be as always marching on the spot getting your knees up nice and high if you're seated you're going to do it like this getting your knees up if you're standing you're going to do it while standing knees up like so i'm going to do about 20 of them give or take uh not 21 today even though it is sarah's birthday plus one happy birthday sarah for yesterday uh, but we're going to do 20 of them. You're going to do as many as you can in the meantime. In the meantime, So get yourself ready, whether you're seated or standing, marching on the spot in three, two, one. Off we go. Marching away, getting your knees up nice and high. So we're called Get Moving. This is the first part of getting you moving. We're getting the legs moving, specifically the hip and knee joints moving. Nice and simple. But that's where we start. We start easy and we build up from there. We get a solid foundation. That's 20. Well done. So shoulder rolls are next. Whether you're seated or standing, the easier version is to roll your shoulders back like so. 
Don't forget if you are seated, I do not want you slouched back like so, pressed against the back of your seat. Don't be doing that. Sitting tall. The harder version is to roll your arms back like so. So with me again in three, two, one, off we go. Roll the arms, definitely sitting or standing tall. If you are seated, the last thing you wanna do, the last thing I want you to do, and let's face it, that's the most important thing, it's what I want. The last thing I want you to do is sit back, slouch back into your seat. That's not doing anybody any good. So if you are seated, sit forwards, sit tall, pretend there's no backrest back there. Even if there is, pretend there isn't. We're not gonna become reliant on it. So Tony, I hope you are sitting tall here. I know that moving the arm is difficult. If moving one arm is difficult, then by all means, hold on and give it some assistance. But still move as much as you can, or indeed just do the shoulder rolls. These are fine. But as long as you are sat tall, and getting your arms or shoulders moving, that's the key. That is 20, I think. We're gonna call it 20. So, knee bends next. If you're seated, you're gonna kick your feet out or foot out one at a time, like so. Bending and straightening your knees, getting as much movement out of that joint as you can, and using the muscles at the front of your thighs there. If you're standing, same idea but kicking your feet up behind you. Kick, uh, kick your feet back and back like so. Again with me in three, two, one, off we go. Kicking the heels back or kicking the feet out. Nice big moves, as big a move out of the knee joint as you can. And as I say, don't forget, if you can't do the full move like this, don't go, nah, I can't, and not do anything. Tony, I'm looking at you. If you're seated, I want you to kick your feet out like so, with both legs, not just one, not just the easy one, both legs. Kicking your feet out. So yes, I'm, I'm gonna pick on, it's pick on Tony today, today. Kicking out, and both legs kicking out. If you can't go all the way, doesn't matter, just go halfway. Do what you can, but get it out there. Use these muscles, use these joints. That is gonna be 20, well done. Twisting next. Again, this is one where you have to be sat or stood tall. Sat tall, standing or standing, oh, sorry. Sat or standing tall, fold your arms and twist your body in one direction and then the other. So moving, yesterday we did a, a twist and hold, today we're gonna do the normal twisting and moving. In three, two, one, off we go. One way and the other, keeping on moving. Nice big moves from the chest. Get that chest around and around and around again. So we're over halfway there. Keep things going. If you feel dizzy in your head doing this, keep your eyes looking at one spot in front of you throughout. That'll help reduce dizziness, but we're still moving the body in a big way. And we'll call that 20. Thank you much. The double tap is next. So, with the legs again. If you're seated, the foot is gonna come up twice. Well, the knee is gonna come up twice. Same on the other side. That's someone's car alarm. The knee is gonna come up twice. And the same on the other side. If you're standing, this is where you get to re-practice your balance again. The knee comes up twice as we're balancing on one leg. And the same on the other side. As we're balancing on one leg, the knee comes up twice. So with me in three, two, one, off we go. Knees up, nice and high. Big moves, as big a move as you can. If you can only do a small move, that's where we start off with. Fantastic, do a small move, well done. But know in the back of your head that slowly but surely, it's gonna become a bigger move. It might become bigger over the course of the session now, over the course of 20 minutes. It might get bigger by next week. 
it might get bigger over the course of the rest of the year, over six months. But as long as we get stuck in, we give it our best shot, we don't give up, we try and try again, things will improve. And that's why we're all here to help each other with that, to keep ourselves going. I think that's 20. So, side bends. I forgot to mention Anna's favourite. I say this many times, but I forgot to mention it yesterday. Side bends. One arm goes down. Tony, I know you're doing this, so make sure you are doing this. One arm goes down. If you can, the other arm comes up and over. And the same other side. One arm down and the other arm up and over. If you can't get that arm up and over, I don't care. Don't bother with it. Just get this arm down. So with me. In three, two, one. Off we go. Stretching over. Big moves. We're getting as much movement out of the spine as we can. Bending sideways. Reminding it what it can do and how it can do it. And if we can get the arm up and over, we're getting a nice stretch along the side there as well. Now, as I said before, big moves are good moves. Everything's relative though. If you can do a bigger move, do a bigger move. If you have to do a smaller move, then you gotta do a smaller move, it's okay. But you're still doing the bloody move. That's the constant, that's not the variable. You are doing the move. Isn't that so, Tony? Everyone, just tell Tony he's bloody doing the move. He can pervert me all he likes while he's doing the move. I mean, I understand that, that's okay. That is 20. What have we got next? Ankles, okay. So, especially if you're gonna join us with the, the stepping exercises, we're gonna do it in about five, 10 minutes, we want mobile, strong ankles. So especially if you're gonna do this with us in the, the steps in a few minutes time, get this ready. Ankle mobility, you're gonna point and bend your ankles like so. If you're seated, you're gonna, on the floor, you're gonna get your heels to touch the floor and then your toes to touch the floor. So the heel touches the floor and then the toes. And then the heel and the toes, like so. And of course, if you're standing, next bit of balancing. Best done, I find, along the back of a sofa or something. Make sure you've got something secure close by just in case. Tightrope walking. Feet wide for easier, feet narrow for harder. You adjust accordingly. But ankle mobility, ankle movements. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. Walking forwards, off we go. Keeping your balance. Don't forget, if you want to work on balance, this is a fantastic one. Or go look back at the uh, videos we do on Wednesday in the link above there in the Get Moving website. Don't forget, we've got the archive of all our previous videos going backwards now. Those previous videos always, Carl on again. Those videos, as always, include all the stuff we do for Wobble Wednesday, where we work specifically on balance. So, don't forget, get moving websites up there. We've got the questionnaire I want you to fill in and the archives of all the previous videos we've done. Huh. Forwards again, second time is always better. So, let's do it again, moving forwards. Heel toe, heel toe. Big ankle moves, keeping your balance. Wobble as much as you want. Don't fall over. Falling over is not allowed. Tony, are you uh, you keeping your ankles moving, mate? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. And moving backwards. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Tony, you're uh, doing both feet, yeah? Yeah, good man. I hope so, Tony. I will be very upset if you're not doing both feet. Toes, heels, running out of room. There we go, fantastic. Balancing and ankle mobility again. That's gonna be important in a bit when we do the step stuff. Ah, fast feet. Always gets me out of breath, this one does. If you are seated, fast legs. So, um, we've done big moves so far. This is gonna be fast, small, but fast moves. So, getting your feet moving like that. Tony. Obviously, I want both feet. Don't just do one foot, you're not a drummer. I want both feet, okay? Both feet. 
if you're standing you're gonna be running on the spot again this always gets, gets me nicely knackered fast feet running on the spot like so i got my timer i prepared today two loads of 10 seconds each are you ready in three two one and go so fast feet keep them going quick up and down keep going keep going keep going there that's it 10 seconds done easy so we're gonna do it again get ready to go for another 10 seconds in three two one off we go fast feet again get them up off the floor keep them going keep them going time easy easy we could do that all day we could do it all day i swear to god so but we've got we can't do it all day we've got one more to do shadow boxing if you are seated this is a popular one picture the person you do not like imagine them in front of you there fists up punch them in the head punch them in the body punch them around the side under the chin mix and match how you like but punch them hard and fast if you're standing same idea but if you can keep your feet moving punch into the head stepping forwards and backwards side to side are you ready three loads of 20 seconds we're gonna do one minute's worth are you ready in three two one and go punching get the body moving punching away single punches doubles or triples halfway there 10 seconds left feet moving if you can keep going picture that person you don't like stop there stop there stop there seconds out well done get ready for round two in two one off we go punching again 20 seconds nice and light on your feet twist your body as you're punching get your body behind these moves 10 seconds to go forwards and backwards left and right keep going keep going keep going that's time one more time final round third and final round i hope you're ready because i know i am in two one go 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 last bit this is it so give it your best shot twist the bodies get stuck in for 10 more seconds pick your target imagine that person you don't like up there hit them hard nearly nearly there and time well done get your breath back for a sec before i show you we go over some stuff to handle stairs and steps get your breath back for a moment so that's our exercise done if you are ready if you want we're going to do i'm going to go over some drills to help with negotiating stairs going up and down stairs um, as whether we like it or not we are going to face we're going to have to handle steps and stairs in our lives because that's what they're out there uh, we're they're going to be uh, we're going to face them so we may as well be as prepared as we possibly can be so some simple drills to help build up the confidence build up the strength build up the ability to go up and down stairs so uh, first of all health and safety because we're dealing with steps and stuff like that make sure you've got either a solid railing or something to hold on to or something solid to to catch in case you do lose your balance have somebody else there with you if you need somebody robust and can hold you and grab a scruff of the neck and pick you up and all that kind of stuff think about what might happen if you lose your balance and be prepared for it to hold on to something or someone okay think ahead we're adults here okay otherwise right then what have we got first of all stepping up so stepping stones uh, when I, I try and do something difficult I try and break it down into little chunks bite-sized chunks now I've only got a big step like so 
um, I thoroughly recommend that you start with something a lot lower. But I don't have anything lower. This is the only one I've got, so I'm going to have to deal with it. Pretend it's lower, though. So going upstairs, step or stage one is just getting used to putting your foot up there, being confident to put your foot up there. Um, sometimes people just get scared, nervous about lit taking one foot off the ground and, oh, my God, I've got to put up there. Oh, God. Stage one is simply up and down, up and down. Simple as that. Just build up momentum of putting the foot up and down like so. If you can, try both sides. So, of course, some of you will have a better side than the other. Um, if you have definitely a better side than the other, let the good leg lead the way. Okay, The way I was taught it, uh, the good go up to heaven, bad go down to hell. When we're going up to heaven, the good, the good leg, leads the way. Okay, If you can, try the bad side as well, but when you do it for real, the good will lead the way. So stage one is just practicing stepping up and down like so. Nice and easy. Stage two, just start again. We're building momentum. We're, we're going through stepping stones here. Once you're happy, put your foot up there. We're just going to rock back and forth, back and forth. So I'm shifting my, my, my weight, my body weight around. So at the moment, this front foot is really light. It's feather like on, on the step there. I'm going to shift my weight forward, rock forward, and now it's heavy. I'm pushing down on that step. I'm recovering. I'm just going to repeat that as many times as I need. Just rocking forward, heavy foot, and back. Let's get back in shot a bit more. Rocking back and forth as many times as you want. Just gradually putting more and more weight and pushing harder on that front foot there. Now, if you notice, this back foot is slowly but surely starting to come off the ground. It's getting lighter on this back foot there. When you're ready, this can take as, as long as you like, this rocking is going to start progressing to that. Notice how the back foot is coming off the floor. I'm not going all the way just yet. I'm just getting used to rocking back and forth, taking some weight on this front leg, and this back foot is coming off the floor. I'm getting confident at shifting my weight around. The next stage is to rock a bit further. And notice how his back foot is coming further off. The, I'm getting closer and closer to stepping up on this step. And I will do this as many times as I need. It might be two or three times, it might be two or three hundred times, doesn't matter. But I'm gradually just shifting the weight further forward and moving towards stepping up with this front foot. The final step is, as you probably guessed, will be to go all the way up and land. I'm in a low ceiling here, so I'm not going to stand too tall. Stepping back, same thing. Good leg stays under control. A controlled step back. And we repeat it again. So we go through this stage as many times as we need. Just stepping up. Sometimes you might need to go through these stages every single time you get to the stairs. That's fine. We just build it up gradually over time. We do the step. We do the rocking, building up momentum as we go along. Each rock goes a bit further until whoop, up we get, and oh my God, we're up there without banging my head on the ceiling. That is a fantastic progression to going upstairs. As I say, it does not matter how quick or how slow you go from one stage to the other, but those are nice logical steps, stages to go from not being able to step up to being able to step up. As I say, I've only got a big box here. Um, I thoroughly recommend you start off with a lower step, an aerobic step, something like that. Or you, to be honest, the stairs in your house are probably lower than this. Start off low. So that's going up a step. Coming down tends to be scarier. Okay, so what we got? Okay. So first and foremost, again, uh, health and safety. Make sure you've got something solid to hold on to, somebody around just in case. When it comes to going downstairs, 
probably yeah probably one of the most important things to remember is don't lead with your head it can be quite scary and you at the top of the stairs and you think oh my god look at that gap that that chasm before me you're looking down you're fixated and oh my god you're looking you're leaning and you suddenly almost just fall into that gap so don't do that i'm not saying don't look down look where your feet are going but don't let yourself get fixated and lead with the head because we just lose all control then i want you to lead with the legs and hips so we are going to be start off with a drill against the wall okay start off nice and close facing a wall and i'm going to use this leg all we're going to do is just tap the tip of my toes right down in the corner there where the wall and the uh, the floor meet i'm just going to touch my toes in that corner and back and that's that's it literally that's all i'm going to do i'm not going to kick the wall halfway up there that's no good it's got to be in that junction between the wall and the floor that's easy so we go back a bit further exactly the same thing i'm going to touch that junction but oh oh okay so if i go back further suddenly if i keep this supporting leg straight i can't actually reach that corner down there i can i can reach the wall but i can't reach that corner down there to reach down there i have to bend this supporting leg and back and see how that works i've got my leg straight can't reach bend it and i can so that's what we're going to do we're going to bend that supporting leg slightly and reach to that corner down there and get, get used to it nice and simple okay i can do that now you notice the only way i can do that is by kind of pushing my hips forwards i can't do it if i'm <laughs> pushing my head forwards because i just lose my balance this is a good drill to teach us how to stay tall keep our head from toppling forwards and lead with our legs and bums this is a fantastic drill just to practice what we want to be doing when we're going downstairs not going head first i can't do that it's controlling it with the legs when that's easy try to go back a tiny tiny bit and i mean a tiny bit half an inch is probably all you need it's amazing what you can get away with a half an inch so only go back a tiny bit and okay now we have to really work up significantly harder to reach that corner down there and i only moved back that far so don't go back miles because that's going to be really impossible only a little bit so that is a fantastic drill to start you off and of course bearing that in mind you grab your step again i thoroughly recommend you do not start with a step this tall start with a smaller one but you're going to do exactly the same thing from up on top of the step and i'm going to make sure i don't hit the ceiling same idea don't lead with your head imagine there's that corner down there to start off with you're just going to reach and back so i'm practicing sending the legs and hips forwards not head that way i'm going to fall reach to my toes reach to my toes of course you'll be on a much slower lower box than this the next stage is to reach and just keep on reaching keep on reaching keep on reaching control 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 and until you can eventually just control 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 step down under control not crash landing okay and certainly not leading with a head looking into the void and just diving head first into the ground top tip do not dive head first into the ground it's a bad move i've done it not good reach for the toes let this supporting leg do some work and gradually of course you'll be on a lower box than this on lower step than this gradually you'll get lower and lower and control that landing down 
Repeat that as often as you need. It is not only really good for strengthening that leg that's going to be taking the weight, controlling your descent. As I say though, that pointing with the toes, a fantastic drill to help teach us to lead with the legs and hips and not lead with the head. I'm going on about it loads. I'm sorry about that. It's not like a stuck record, I know. But seriously, you do not want to be standing at the top of a flight of stairs and leading with your head. Just don't, okay? Lead with the hips and legs. So they are nice little progressions, stepping stones, towards getting ourselves used to going down stairs. That, and we'll cover them more, we'll, we'll do a bit more of them over the week actually. Um, but they are what I want to practice over the weekend, the next few days. Practice going upstairs, break into little chunks, Practice coming downstairs, break the little chunks again. So that has been your theme Thursday. Uh, it is Thursday. You come up with a theme. The theme this week has been steps. I want you to come up with a theme for next Thursday. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I've got a little list of some of the other things people suggested. We'll go through that. But I want you to add your suggestions. So seriously, anything you want me to go over, pop in the comments below. Okay. Um, it could be fitness, hand-eye coordination, balance, mobility, uh, it could be whatever, it could be the steps, whatever. Let me know what we want to go over in, in more detail next Thursday. You've got one week to let me know and I'll come up with something for you to do. So thank you very much. That was your, th your theme Thursday. Okay, final bit. I'm going to say goodbye now then. Um, right then. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. I'll see you again tomorrow on Fitness Friday. It is Fitness Friday tomorrow, obviously. We'll get you out of breath nicely. We'll do lots of punching. We will get you huffing and puffing. We'll get your blood pumping like nobody's business before. And we will get you fitter on Fitness Friday. Please don't forget, we've got the share button down there. Share it around the world. Remember, I, I'm, if, if, if there is not a Bedouin person in the Sahara Desert who has not seen this video, I am blaming you. Not you but you, okay, you know who you are. So please use that share button down there. I want to see my face in the Sahara Desert. It's like from that movie, The Mummy. And my sister's about to ring me right now, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>